Hi again, guys. How are you doing? Here I am. Today, I'm presenting listening and how to develop these skills. I decided to provide with a different tool, a resource for you to employ or uh, potentially adapt it for using uh, music, tracks, songs, films, videos from YouTube. But I think um, using this uh, a different tool might be beneficial because it's got advantages. The presentation focuses on the receptive skills, specifically on listening, but in the grades as well, uh, the four skills. So here we go. I'm gonna share a presentation with you. Please pay close attention. And then I will explain the tasks you need to carry out for this week, okay? Uh, and the dates as well, of course. I'm gonna share with you the presentation. Here we are. Okay. Check this out. Huh? Listening, developing listening skills. Well, um, we're going to explore tech talks, okay? You have already watched one tech talk, if you can remember at the beginning of the course, and it was about how language shapes the way we think and the other way around. An interesting tech talk was for about 10 minutes long. Why tech talks in the English classroom first and foremost? Well, because they are a great tool that has been researched, has been investigated, studied, and that includes relevant topics for this day and age, but not only because of content, but also because it's got language level, it's got transcriptions with different languages. It's got timing, pace, and benefits that could be uh, advantages for our teaching and for learning as well. You know, um, how to plan a tech talk lesson is actually pretty similar as to how to plan a listening lesson. We're going to check this step by step. Some questions that are commonly asked will be covered and additional resources for your tasks, okay? For uh, preparing a listening activity and one final reflection. What are tech talks? Well, tech talks are videos related to uh, different topics in different areas of a study. They are usually presented by people from all walks of life, uh, professionals, of course, uh, scientists, uh, uh, researchers, writers, teachers, uh, um, uh, etc. The topics focused on global issues. They are relevant for our society. And they have scientific questions. You know, they are usually linked to research, which is very important. They provide with references and they have a bunch of benefits regarding teaching, you will see. There are more than 3000 videos available and the transcriptions are found in multiple languages. There are English captions as well. YouTube has got this as well, but in a different fashion. Well, to begin with, let's discuss the following question together, okay? What do you think are some of the benefits of using Tech Talks in the classroom? Well, I will tell you what. There is authentic language and authentic, authentic content, okay? They might seem to be lectures, 
but you're exposed to different English voices, different kinds of pronunciation, different territories, different people. They show grammar and pronunciation in context. They promote listening comprehension skills and reading comprehension skills as well. They are usually relevant topics for our societies. The transcriptions are already created and they can be employed for the sake of your lesson and they are free. You just need to uh, uh, create an account. What is your role when you use tech talks? You know, in this case, this is my example. It could be a track, it could be a song, or it could be a, a video or a film, part of the film. Well, the role of the teacher is to identify and collect content that is suitable, relevant, and comprehensible for a student. This is what you usually do when you need to choose a song, okay? Or when you need to choose a track, or when you need to, to choose part of a film or a video. Teachers also need to organize and sequence the content. What is the sequence? pre-listening, while listening, and post-listening, before, while, after. And also, we need to provide with plenty of scaffolding, language support. Remember scaffolding from Brunner, okay? Language support, systematic strategy for helping students reach the language goal. Well, we're going to follow four steps. This is the sequence I suggest following. Choosing a tech talk, this is very important. How do we choose a song? How do we choose a tech talk? How do we choose a film? Well, we take into consideration learner variables. Age, interest, motivation, relevancy, social relevancy, uh, a, a context, situation, and culture, okay? We also need to take into account language level, load of vocabulary, rhythm of voice, tone of voice, pace, okay? How do we do it? We'll check that in a minute. Pre watching or pre-listening activities, while listening activities or watching and post-listening activities. Do your teachers use videos in your classes? What well, they do, okay? You might be taking upper intermediate uh, or advanced English, and they usually use videos from the book, okay? Teachers, have a, the opportunity to use different input, you know, but they need to cover a number of units and time is reduced. So they take advantage of time in order to cover a specific videos which are provided by the, by the book itself. Now, here with Tech Talks, we have the opportunity to find out and choose appropriately a video that could be relevant for us, could be relevant for students, and could fit regarding the vocabulary load we're looking for and the language system we need to work with. How do we choose videos to show uh, in classes? Well, we usually follow a book, but that's all too easy. We need to select input in an appropriate manner. How? Well, we need to consider the following factors. The speech rate, the length, the vocabulary load, and the relevance of the topic. What could we do? Well, we need to select a tech talk. This is the advantage of tech talks, you know? You can check the number of words. You could revise the timing, the seconds, the words per second, and then to make decisions, okay? To check to what extent it's suitable for beginners 
for intermediate learners or for advanced learners. Here you have a couple of, of examples for, uh, from Tech Talks and uh, the information for you to take into account. Okay, it's evaluation of top 10 most watched Tech Talks at the moment. Now, not only that, you need to go and calculate the speech rate, but this is too much work, honestly. I mean, you need to plan the lesson. You can't spend that amount of time on the selection. You should, but there is a strategy to calculate the speech rate and the vocabulary load instead of summarizing, dividing, and you know, uh, carrying out this in order to get the figures. Well, you could go to the transcript of the tech talk, you know, and you need to place it uh, in the following uh, in the following web page. It's the English profile. You check the vocabulary load here, okay? Of course, when working with listening, we need to work with a um, brief uh, text, with brief, a, 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 sorry, a tracks or videos. You take the transcript, you place it there, you click it, and automatically the vocabulary is gonna be divided into C1, C2, B1, or B2, or A1, or A2, or A2+, plus, according to the common European framework. And that's the way you're going to be able to identify whether the vocabulary load is appropriate for a specific audience, okay? So this is something very important for selecting your tech talk. Of course, uh, there is another website in which you can uh, uh, analyze this, you know, and, 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 and you could explore the land, the speech rate, um, and, and, and what well, you're able to choose a short videos. You know, for students to avoid feeling overwhelmed. We usually work in, in an English classroom with videos from uh, three minutes to uh, six minutes. They could be longer, but of course, uh, they are uh, fragmented into sections, pre-watching or pre-listening, while listening and post-listening. The web page uh, is going to be found in your task because you need to uh, provide with the level of your uh, song, track, or video, whatever you're going to use for planning a listening activity. This is an example of Text Inspector. You know, it provides with uh, the level of the words, the vocabulary load. And if the graph shows that most words belong to the A1 level, well, you could employ this a video or, or track for beginners, okay? So uh, here you have the percentages. This is a very useful tool so that you could uh, measure uh, and, and, and decide whether a, a a track or a video is suitable for a specific context. Now, regarding the content of the tech talk, which is the same process you should follow for uh, selecting a song or a track, you need to choose topics related to students' interests, academic profiles, and professional goals and also the contents you're checking at the moment regarding language system, grammar, and vocabulary. It's your choice, but you could also reach agreement with your students, with your pupils, okay? You have the opportunity to use tech talks with a variety of speakers, 
you know, people from South Africa, people from New Zealand, people from a, a, a Trinidad and Tobago or uh, Australian people, you know, uh, you can choose gender, ethnicity, nationality, age, even children, you know, this is really useful. Now, step two, pre-listening activities. Before students watch the tech talk, you know, I wrote their watch because uh, um, because of the nature of tech talks, you know, you could use the visual aids for helping understanding, but it could be only for listening. Well, you need to activate schemes, you know, students' schemata needs to be activated. Prediction strategies play an important role here, pre-discussion activities and pre-teaching vocabulary. How do you activate schema? Well, you ask questions by showing pictures, for example. What do you know about 3D printing? What is something you would like to make on a 3D printer? Okay, so you go and take previous knowledge in order to prepare students for what they are going to watch. In order to activate their schemata, well, you take into account their previous knowledge and the experiences they have faced, trying uh, to link the content of the text or the audio with a student's a knowledge. Okay, so this is very important and fundamental for getting their attention. Prediction strategies. You need to focus on titles, captions, or pictures. And then you need to ask for prediction strategies to be developed. What do you think this track is gonna be about? Read the title, what do you think the video is all about, okay? What do you think the tech talk is all about? So prediction strategies activate the schemata as well. Pre-watching, predicting is a listening comprehension strategy that learners use to anticipate what comes next based on clues and by using their prior knowledge. When we ask our pupils to predict what a lecture would be about, we are actually helping them to access their prior knowledge, setting them up for increased comprehension. So this is very important. Take it into consideration for your activities. Pre-discussion. How this could be a discussion in groups, a, a discussion in, in, in pairs, a, a teacher, a student, interaction, how could 3D printing make it easier for people to get fashionable clothes? What topics do you think Peleg will talk about? So you set questions for discussion to take place. Communication is a key component of language learning by giving students an opportunity to discuss topics with classmates or with you. You're helping them to practice formulating and expressing ideas and opinions to recall knowledge and vocabulary related to the topic and to co-create knowledge with the peers. Now, for uh, pre-watching, you present vocabulary with a couple of items. You're going to create items for your reading tasks and for your listening tasks. This is an example for listening. Okay, you present vocabulary before, empower, okay, you give a couple of options, evolve, a breakthrough, so they can start relating what they are about to watch and they can know the meaning of content words, keywords, for them to comprehend the listening. So pre-teaching vocabulary, helps students become independent vocabulary learners, 
okay? Uh, they usually uh, are asked to keep a vocabulary log, a vocabulary chart, flashcards, or a, a, a you know, uh, looking up their definitions or, a, you know, stopping the words in different ways, okay? But we usually uh, ask them to go beyond definitions. Now, according to studies, learners need to encounter a new vocabulary word 17 times before they will remember it. By pre-teaching key vocabulary and giving students multiple opportunities to practice, we are helping them to ensure that they will truly learn and remember new words. So listening could be focused on vocabulary, grammar, or even pronunciation. Reflection. What other pre-listening pre activities could you do to prepare students to watch a tech talk? Think of that and include them in your activities, what you need to do for listening. Next, while watching activities, watching for details, watching for main ideas, practice good note taking, watch for language focus, <clears throat> watch for new vocabulary. While they are listening or watching a video, you should uh, give opportunity for them to detect details or main ideas, similar to what we do with reading, okay? You need to take into consideration in your objectives, the language focus and the vocabulary you want them to learn. Watching for details, this is an example. Read each statement, then decide whether it is true or false. After watching part one of the talk talk, decide whether this is true or false. And then they go over the task, okay? This is while watching. Speakers often provide details by including more information about where, when, how, or why something happened. Listening to these details can help students to understand more about the speaker's ideas. Note-taking is another strategy. It is important for a developing academic and professional skills, okay? Guided notes are a handouts that you can provide with to your students. You can include them in your activity, uh, uh, map lectures or fill in the blank sheets. You know, when you are giving a song, you're usually giving a, a fill in the blank sheet for uh, uh, detecting the word, the keyword, or scrambling, you know, by listening to a song, if you can remember those kinds of activities. Uh, guided notes promote active engagement during lecture or independent reading. Watching for main ideas. Which two sentences best express the main idea of the tech talk, of the song, of the track, you know, of the section? Compare your choices with a, with a partner, okay? And then you provide with a couple of options, okay? Watching for main ideas. This is another example of what you could do. While watching, well, students can become overwhelmed by the amount of vocabulary presented in a lecture. So you need to be careful with that. Um, well, the ability to identify the main idea of a video, of a song, of a track, is an important academic skill. And also you are enhancing critical thinking. If you achieve this with your students, they are likely to feel confident. Watching for language focused, okay. You listen to another part of the video or, you know, if it is a short video, it could be better. It depends a lot on the level of students. Uh, write down every bird you hear in the past simple tense, for example. Compare your list with a partner. Now, repeat the verbs 
focus on pronunciation. Okay, now it's time to focus on form. Remember everything we have been checking regarding language system. Grammar, vocabulary, etc. One benefit of using Tech Talks in your classroom is that e e learners get the chance to hear grammar and pronunciation in context. This is an advantage for listening. By having students practice noticing what is important to know and to see, you can draw their attention to grammatical structures, to what is important to check pronunciation characteristics be, without explicitly teaching a grammar lesson, but listening what we usually do with content-based, content-based instruction or with a, a um, total physical response, you know, task-based learning. Watching for new vocabulary. Well, this is what students usually do or they have vocabulary charts. It all depends on their learning styles and it depends on what you ask them to do with the words. This is just an example. Vocabulary building is one of the key components of language learning, okay? So it's a very important to take it into account for listening. Finally, post watching activities, comprehension check, critical thinking, reflection, evaluation, and self-evaluation. Well, uh, you could form groups, you know, you can discuss them in idea, you could uh, create a story from what they listen using the words you want them to learn. You need to be creative in order to provide with a post watching activity, which is part of the production section. Remember PPP. These are the resources, the tech talks. You could explore them, text inspector and a dictionary. If you have any questions or comments, you can send me an email and I will write you back as soon as possible. Okay, finally, think of what you learned with this presentation. Maybe you were familiar with TED Talks because we had already watched one video, but maybe uh, you explore in depth pre-watching activities or while listening activities or post-listening activities. What is one thing you would like to try or implement in a classroom? Okay, well, Think of that and include it in your activity for this week. And well, I think that that could be enough, okay? Thank you for waiting for me. I'm back and well, I hope you can carry out this task successfully. And I will be helping you, of course, with anything you need. Now, I want to show you your task. I'm gonna stop sharing this. I'm gonna show you the task you need to carry out for listening. Okay, here you are. You go to um, unit three, developing reading and listening skills, content, unit three, and you will see listening here. Aha, uh -huh, listening. You need to read a text, you need to read chapter 18 of Harmer. Okay, you focused on the uh, listening sequences. And well, uh, you watch a listening, the, the, this video again, so that you can uh, um, check the examples I provided with. And finally, you go over your task. After reading and watching the video, you need to prepare an activity for teaching and listening, uh, for teaching a, 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 a learning listening, sorry. Okay. Choose a, a song or video, a tech talk, it could be, it depends on you, that you think it might be appropriate for a specific audience. Then you need to analyze the song and identify the grammar, the vocabulary you want the students to focus on, or even pronunciation. Establish the goals carefully and take into consideration everything we have explored, the three different dimensions. 
Design an activity with the song or the video. First, identify the level of the lyrics if you decided to work with the song or the transcription of a tech talk and state it by going to uh, this web page. Include one presentation and one practice stage for your activity. Presentation and practice. If possible, include a production one. Two different activities or just one for all stages. It's up to you. Write a paragraph at the end explaining the most complex elements for listening skills to be developed. Okay. You can, you can start designing the activity or the activities for listening since today. And you will have until Friday, December 11th. Okay, so you have plenty of time. If you have any question, you can send me an email, of course, and I will be there. Well, I will try hard because my internet is terrible. I could just uh, upload my videos today and they are not as I wish, but here we are, okay? I did my best. Wow. Um, thank you very much again. Uh, thank you for watching and I wish you the best luck with your activities. I will be looking forward to checking every single video. And if you got any question, please let me know. Okay. We keep in touch. Bye bye.